I often think about those shepherds watching their flocks on that night Jesus was born. And what it must have been like for them. What would it have been like, I wonder, to have the angels appearing to you in the darkness and inviting you to go to a manger? What would it have, what would it have been like, I wonder, to have seen with their own eyes the newborn Savior? One of my favorite Christmas carols is, O Come, All Ye Faithful, which contains the line, Come and Behold Him. That hymn is kind of an invitation to us, much like the invitation of the angels to the shepherds. It invites all of us faithful ones to come to the manger. On this unusual Christmas 2020, in the shadow of COVID, it seems rare to get an invitation to come anywhere. On the contrary, the public health message is to be responsible and stay apart to keep everybody safe. We can't even go to in-person Christmas Eve candlelight services at Muddy Creek and instead have to satisfy ourselves by participating with the service online. And so we are kind of hunkering down and waiting in the night, like the shepherds. So on this Christmas Eve, I want you to know that you are indeed receiving an invitation. Like the shepherds, God is inviting you tonight to come to the manger. God is inviting you to enter once again into the amazing Christmas story that the Savior Jesus Christ has been born into our world and has entered into our lives. So tonight, come to the manger. Feel the pull of the angels on your heart, inviting you to come closer to God. And like the shepherds, you are invited to come and behold him. Beholding is a special word that I think captures well the awe and amazement that the shepherds must have felt when they first laid eyes on the Savior of the world. Behold means to experience some of that powerful wonder of God. Behold, the angels said to the shepherds, I am bringing you good news of great joy, which shall be to all the people. Behold, the love of God made into touchable, intimate, relatable human form, Jesus Christ. Come and behold him. I think we could all use a little bit of that awe and wonder. In the midst of what is now a 10-month coronavirus epidemic, especially now as this Christmas sees our hospitals getting fuller, our medical staff getting overworked, some of our neighbors sick, our community struggling, and so many of us not being able to celebrate what would have normally been a joyous Christmas get-together with family and friends. I think we can all use a little bit of that good news of great joy, which the shepherds proclaimed. Come and behold him is a welcome invitation for us to dwell in this moment, for a candlelit evening, to dwell in this moment in experiencing the awe of the Christmas miracle once again. Come and behold is an invitation to spiritually come to the manger and to see the Savior with our own eyes once again. Come and behold is an opportunity to be filled with a moment of brief peace. While we all seem to be so isolated and all alone in the fields at night. While we are there, God has arranged for something truly awesome to happen. God has sent His Son, Jesus, into the world to be born into our lives because we all truly need Him. Truly need Him now more than ever. As you imagine yourself with the shepherds, beholding the newborn Savior, 
Perhaps you can feel some of that wonder tonight, some of that comfort, some of that tremendous love of God. God has not abandoned us. On the contrary, He is surrounding us with the glory of the angels who bring us good news of great joy. Amen. And let us pray. Lord, open our eyes to receive your invitation to come to the manger as you invited the shepherds. Open our ears to hear the angel's hymn in the stirring within us of joy at the coming of the child. Open our hearts to, be, to hear the transforming power of your love as we behold the awe and wonder of Jesus born into this world. Be born among us and be born within us, that by words and deeds we may bear tidings of your birth to a world in desperate need of love. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.